another thing that's really interesting, especially in order to catch flow. So now I'm going to get into order to catch flow. And here we're talking about our customer master data. So we are looking at customers that are missing information. Like typically they are missing tax numbers. And then we've got a map of like, where are they? You know, like all these people missing tax numbers. It could be you've got a big group, lots of customers all over the place. And you actually want to get due diligence done properly in all of the different countries. But you still got customers that don't have tax number, especially if they're in a tax haven, then that could be something you want to look at. So if we want to look up a particular customer, we could pick one. So here I just picked Cuba and uh, clicked on Cuba on the map. And then I can see, all right, there are two customers in Cuba. So I'm going to look them up, look up one of them, and I'm just going to XD03. And I'm going to double check. So we always want to double check this stuff just to make sure that we're correct, right? And we're going to look for other things as well. So we're going to look at, you know, do they have a bank account? Do they have a personal email address? Like, sometimes it's like a massive customer and they're doing like 10 million, $20 million um, with your company, but they're based in a very strange place. They don't have a tax number. And then it's like bob at yahoo.com, you know, and, um, or they just don't even have an email address or anything or like a telephone number or an address. And if that's the case, and if there is a really high volume of transactions with them, then that's really something we wanna check. Um, we can also check what type of customer it is. So, you know, it could be just a normal accounts receivable customer. It could be somebody who is a one-time customer, or it could be an employee or something like that. So we want to check that also. Um, we want to check the payment methods. So if they got default payment methods or not, this one doesn't even have default payment methods. So that means that you can actually put the payment method on the invoice. And we want to check the dunning information. So see like, you know, if they don't pay, are we automatically going to follow up with them or not? 